Yo, what's up out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to do the solo money glitch without any custom plates required and no Lester Heist text to get the car to spawn outside. All right, right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so as always, the founders of this glitch will be linked down in the description. Go check them out. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is it's basically like the other ones. Uh, we're just doing a few little different things, okay? I had a few people asking me how to do this glitch with no custom plates, and this is the way to do it. All right, so you need a CEO garage. Any of them will work. Uh, CEO, CEO office, any of those. CEO garage, any level. And you need a custom mod shop in the CEO garage. Very important. You don't need custom plates. We're just going to be modifying something very simple on the vehicle. What you do need to get glitched out is you do need the special vehicle in the special vehicle warehouse. I have a t Aqua Technical that I'm using. You can be using your Wastelander or, uh, you know, the ramp buggy, anything like that, okay? Now, apart from that, we're going to be using the MOC to clean our plates. So you need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and have a free Elegy or Fagio inside, all right? That's very important. So... You have your Benny's car to dupe. Remember, Benny's vehicle sell for the most. We're going to get glitched out here. Play Quake Job, Doomsday Heist, Alone. Are you sure? Yes. We're starting in an invite-only session, guys. Now, once it says Populating Lobby in the bottom right, which you're going to see very, very soon. Here we go. Super slow motion. Populating Lobby. You're going to quickly press pause. And on PlayStation, you just have to go once to the left bumper and just hit the PlayStation Store on Xbox. Just navigate to the Xbox Store. Get to it as quick as possible. You can sit at this screen for about 10 seconds. That's what I always do, and it seems to work perfectly fine. So unpause, get out of there, check your style options, and you should be glitched out. Okay, it should be grayed out. Now, I would recommend to sign in as a CEO before you actually attempt to get glitched out. All right, a lot better since we're using the special vehicle warehouse that shows up on the map. And you can call up CEO buzzards. So at this point, you can call up your Pegasus buzzard or your CEO buzzard, and you just want to fly over to your SVW. All right, this is the cheapest one on the map at $1.5 million. And uh, yeah, so we're going to land here. As you can see, I was doing the glitch before. Just get in there and we're going to be just grabbing any one of our vehicles in here. It can't be a glitched vehicle. So no retros, nothing that's not supposed to be in there. It has to be something that has a natural spot in there, like this Aqua Technical right here. Okay, I can't use those retros. Those retros are bricked. So now I'm in the Aqua Technical or whatever special vehicle you're in, just simply drive out. Once you drive out, you will notice immediately the vehicle will go invisible and you'll be standing up, you know, upright basically. So now we've glitched out the vehicles in the game, okay, for the glitch. So you want to fly back over to your CEO garage. Like I said before, this works at every single CEO garage. We've confirmed that. And I have my MOC parked outside waiting for me just to make it a little bit easier. So if you want to set up that way, I recommend doing that as well. Now, I'm going to go to Office Garage 2. Office Garage 2 is where I have my Benny's vehicle, which is my LG Retro Custom that I'm duping. And then I have a bunch of free LGs that I can ride over inside as well. And you want this garage to be full. Okay, so I'm going to hop into this LG Retro Custom. I have a custom plate on it, but you don't need one. All right, so I'm going to press right D-pad. You're going to see I'm going to get a generic plate from this glitch by the end of it. Okay, so... All you have to do here, once you've entered the mod shop, you just need to change something on the vehicle. Any little modification will do. I'm going to change the plate color, okay? So this could be a regular generic plate. Just change the plate color. Hit exit vehicle. Once you've done that, just simply get back into it, and then you're going to hit right D-pad once again. It's going to glitch out for, like, not even a half a second. It's going to just glitch out really quick and just shoot you back into the office garage. Now you should have your dupe that you were just sitting in and the original, which is usually piled up on top somewhere. So now this is how you do it so that you don't have to have the Lester Heist text to have the car spawn outside. You want to go into a different office garage. I'm in office garage two. So I just went to the elevator and I said, let's go to office garage one. All right. Doesn't matter which office garage you go to. So now I'm going to go right back to the elevator and hit on the option to leave to office garage two, which is the one where I have my duplicates. Okay. So you should spawn in. There we go. The dupes are still in there perfectly fine. This is the point where you go to the elevator and you hit exit to ground. 
Once you hit exit to ground, it should spawn outside for you. If it does not still, then your only option is the Lester Heist text or try to keep going in and out of garages, you know, but this seems to work for me. I've had a lot of success just going into a different office garage and then back into the original and then exit to ground. Okay, so I definitely recommend trying that. A lot of people have had success with this. So I'm gonna drive to my MOC, hit right D-pad, and I'm gonna select to go ahead and transfer vehicles. I had an LG RH8 already parked in there, okay? So now that I'm hopping back into the retro dupe, this is where the plate merges. So you see where it says glitching? I'm gonna simply just drive out, and when I drive out, look what happens. I have a brand new plate, generic, good to go, fresh and clean, but the car is still recognized as an RH8. So you need to drive this back into your MOC a second time. This is how the vehicle actually saves as an LG Retro Custom, and this is your dupe, okay? Now to rinse and repeat, all you would have to do is, well, before you rinse and repeat, I would say this is the setup basically for the next dupe. So you drive this one from the MOC that you just saved. Remember, drive it you know, back in there again to make sure that it saves. And you head back over to your office garage, which is full. So office garage two, it's gonna ask me to transfer vehicles. I'm just gonna hit okay. Now, once you hit okay, this is where you wanna pick one of those free elegies. So you see, I have a free elegy here, I picked it. There we go, now I have my dupe inside my garage and I have a free elegy in the MOC waiting for me. So I can begin to go ahead and start to do, you know, the next car. And this is where I would go to the SVW, I'll get a, buzz a buzzard and fly over there, okay? And this is how you rinse and repeat. So this is just me fast forwarding through the second dupe, all right? But uh, yeah, that should be it for me, guys. Just wanted to make sure that you guys still know how to do this with no custom plates. This is the safest way to do this glitch. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers here on the channel. Peace out and have a good one.